Welcome back. This is the video series of virtual programming with Java using NetBeans. My name is Samer Audi, and in this lesson, we will continue with loops or repetition statements, and our focus will be the while loop and the do while loop. The while loop checks for a condition and repeats the code that is available in its body as long as the condition is met. All right, let us get started. What we want to do in our application is to build a, uh, a guessing game. Remember last time we learned how to create a random number. So we want to generate that random number, let's say between 1 and 10, and then let the user guess. As long as uh, they didn't guess the right number, we will ask them to guess again. And therefore the concept of the loop or the repetition. Okay, let us get started. We'll start a new project, Java desktop application. Next, and we will call it the guess game. Make sure it's a basic desktop application. All right, let me just make some changes here. Okay, so this is our working area. What we want is a button. When we click that button, we generate a random number. So this is my button. I will rename it and I will call it RAND, R -N -D, button. Okay, change the text on it and I say generate random number okay all right now what I want when I click this button is to generate a random number that's easy but I also want to have another button okay and this button I will call it the play or the guess button so I will change the name to play button and I will write on it play okay let me just align them okay centered okay but I don't want to be able to click this button or simply play unless a random number is generated so basically what I want to do is to go to the properties of this button and disable it. Okay, so we go to our properties here and we find a property called enabled. There it is. As you see by default is checked, which is true. We'll make it false or uncheck it. Okay, you see now that number, uh, sorry, the button is uh, disabled. Okay, so let us go ahead and program the first number, uh, the first button. As you remember, we right click, we go to events, and we say new action performed. Okay, and in here I want to do two things. I want to enable the play button. So I will here write the code that will do that play button dot set enabled and it takes in a boolean and I will put the value to true so yes go ahead and enable that button otherwise if I want to programmatically disable it instead of true I would put false okay uh, another thing I need to do is to generate a random number and I want to save the value of the generated number into a variable so I will go ahead and create a private member here or variable of the end type called num and I will put its value to zero okay and go back to my button here and just before I enable the play button I will go ahead and say num is equal to whatever random number is generated and if you remember how we do that we said from 1 to 10 so I will say 1 plus 
cast into an integer what the result of the math class and it has the random method so whatever the random method times 10 because I want from 1 to 10 I will put it into num so num has now uh, the random number that gets generated so let us go ahead and test what we have okay successful no errors as you see this is not enabled or disabled as soon as I click this behind the scenes a random number got generated and this is now enabled so I need now to go ahead and program the second button okay let us think about it for a second what do I want to do when uh, this button is enabled and I click it okay I will go ahead go to the events action action perform now this is what I want to do I want to prompt the user with an input dialogue okay which is really a dialogue that allows the user to enter something a value um, as soon as the user enters that value I'm going to check it against num if it's equal to num that means the user guessed if it's not equal that means the user didn't guess but I also want to repeat this process as long as the user did not guess the number and therefore I need a repetition statement or a loop I will use the while loop for that okay So in here, I start writing my code. All right, so what do I want to do? I want to uh, make a guess. So for that, I will need another variable here. So I will just add it and I call it my guess is equal to zero also. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to have an input dialog. So I need also a string to hold the value of whatever the user input and then I will of course parse it into an integer so I will call this one input and it's equal to nothing to start with all right I'm ready now I will create my logic inside the while loop and this is the syntax of the while loop while something this is the condition repeat the code that you see in here okay now like we said in this example I will talk about the while loop the do while is very similar just that it happens to have a different syntax so the do while looks like this do something okay and do it while this condition is met Basically, the difference between the while loop and the do while is that you make sure that the body of the while or the um, loop will at least uh, play or get executed one time. But here, there is no uh, guarantee that it will execute because the condition maybe it's not met from the very beginning. Okay, so we will use the while loop for now. And I will say the following while guess is not equal to what to num okay remember I already created those variables and I initiated their values to be equal to zero each now if you change your logic a little bit and uh, you might actually fall into this trap of not running the while loop at all so basically I made sure that they're equal in the beginning if they're not equal then I'll go ahead and uh, run the body of the loop of course you need to think about the problem that you have in, at hand and you need to fix it we will realize that in the logic that I'm using now we still have a lot of problems we still need to fix it but let's make it simple in the beginning input this is the string that I created is equal to uh, whatever the user are uh, is going to enter inside that input dialog it will go into input so I need that input dialog 